In this video, we are going to show you how email notifications and repricing work in SkewGrid. Many people have a common misconception that when they receive an email notification, it means that SkewGrid has changed their item at that time. So if they get a notification and then look at the item, they wonder why it has not been changed. In actuality, supplier checking and notifications run totally independent of your item actually being repriced or changed. SkewGrid is constantly monitoring your supplier at approximately every 30 minutes. At that time, any change in supplier price or stock is observed and recorded in a database. Email notifications are then sent based off of the settings you have in your notification settings. Again, this has nothing to do with the actual repricing or changing of your item. So for example, if you have notifications set up to be sent to you every hour, but you actually have your repricing time in your general settings set to every six hours, it is very possible that you receive an email notification, but SkewGrid will not be allowed to make the change for another six hours based on your settings. So please keep that in mind if you ever have a question about the notifications that you receive. If you ever receive a notification and SkewGrid has not made the change yet, you can simply locate the item in your SkewGrid account and then click Force Reprice on that item. It will cause the item to move into queue to be repriced and you can expect the change to occur in your listing within 30 minutes. Some other key things to note. SkewGrid has a fail safe. If a major change is noted, example, item goes in stock or out of stock or has a large, larger price increase or decrease, it will trigger the fail safe to cut on. When this happens, it is a red flag for SkewGrid to come back and check the item again within 15 minutes before noting the change as an official change. Another important factor in the timing of which items change or do not change would be whether or not you have your general repricer safe or super safe repricing options turned on. Having them turned on will help protect you against unstable supplier changes, but at the same time, you may inadvertently think an item should change when it technically should not according to your settings. Your general repricer settings are discussed more in detail in the general repricer settings video. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.